Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you, and this time we're going to piggyback on the topic of my last video, which was what happens when you make a ranged attack against an enemy that is engaged in melee combat. And this time we're going to talk about what happens when you make a ranged attack against an enemy that is in melee combat with you. So what happens when you try to hit an enemy with a short bow and that enemy is in the adjacent square or is only five feet away from you? What penalties are involved there? And the answer is there, are, there is no universal penalty that is applied for making a ranged attack while in melee combat or against a target that is adjacent to you. Instead, there are a couple of different issues that you need to consider. And the first of those is whether or not your ranged weapon has the volley trait. Uh, some weapons, notably longbows and composite longbows, have a trait called volley. And what that means is if you try to make a ranged attack with that weapon within a designated number of feet, then you suffer a penalty. Now, the other thing to consider is attacks of opportunity. Attacks of opportunity can be triggered by making ranged attacks or using any action that has the manipulate trait while within the threatened reach of a, a creature that has the ability to make attacks of opportunity. So, Quick reminder, in 2nd edition, not everybody can make attacks of opportunity. Instead, this has to be an ability granted to you by your class or by your feats. But if you have the ability to make attacks of opportunity and an enemy makes a ranged attack within your threatened space, uh, which is usually adjacent to you unless you have a reach weapon or you're a size larger, bigger creature, then that's going to trigger the attack of opportunity. Not only will that attack trigger the attack of opportunity, but also reloading that weapon could trigger attacks of opportunity as well. So when you look at the stats for a ranged weapon, it will tell you how many interact actions are required to reload that weapon. For most bows, it's a zero which means zero interact actions are required for reloading it. But if your weapon has a reload rating of one or higher, then the act of reloading that is an interact action. Interact actions have the manipulate trait and therefore would trigger attacks of opportunity from any enemies who you are in the threat and reach of as long as that enemy has the ability to make attacks of opportunity. So that's it in a nutshell. There is no universal blanket penalty that is applied to making ranged attacks against an enemy that is adjacent to you, but always consider whether or not that weapon has the volley trait. If so, then you're likely going to face a negative two penalty for making close attacks. And if there are any enemies that you are in the threatened space of that are able to make attacks of opportunity that will trigger those attacks of opportunity and reloading a weapon that requires an interact action to do so will trigger those as well. As always, please leave your comments and your thoughts and suggestions for future rule reminders. I will leave links to any relevant topics in the description of this video as well. And I want to make sure I take a moment just to thank everybody who supports me, whether that's through subscribing to the Patreon, subscribing to this channel, clicking the like button, leaving a comment of support, uh, sharing these videos with your friends. It all adds up and I greatly appreciate your support. So with that, thanks for watching, take care and happy gaming.